when we first got here, if you go back and watch some of my videos, this was in bloom. It is uh, red hot pokers. <laughs> They were beautiful when they were in bloom the red and the yellow I really don't know if I should do anything with these stalks if anybody knows um, seems like when I got here last year the stalks were not here so I don't know if somebody cut them off if you're supposed to leave them if you're supposed to cut them off I'm assuming that there's seeds in here and they <sighs> just Nope. Don't trip over the rocks. But if anybody knows, please put it in the comments below. Um, I just been watering, watering them. But I also added something when we first got here, probably in about the middle of May. We went to. Oh look! Now see, this one's turning brown. Well. It's not as it's not as hard and green. Okay, maybe they're gonna die off. Look at this one. I don't know. And that one, well, that plant is looking kind of poorly, but I water them. But anyway, at the beginning or about the middle of May, we went to the library book sale. And it was also a plant sale and I bought two tomato plants and this one I planted right here and the other one in there so obviously that was not a good place for it of course these weren't as big either so but I am getting I've had two tomatoes I've taken off of here but if you look there's tomato tomatoes 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 there's tomatoes there's a little bitty one so I've got quite a few there's one there's some there's some here's some over here look at these I know I'm wondering if I should go ahead and I don't want them to split the two red ones that I had they were split just a little bit I just put this post in and I'm just trying to loosely tie it up to this post to get it off the ground. Oh, here's a whole bunch. Here's a whole cluster of them. So, that has been fun. I had a garden when I had my house every year. Well, for the last probably, I don't know. I probably had a garden for seven eight years or something but I won't say that I miss the garden because I was never a good gardener <laughs> it was too hot in Texas I would put a lot of water on the tomatoes and never get any tomatoes so anyway I'm gonna turn you over to this beautiful bushes and these I mean look at all the bumblebees butterflies I mean it is just active active I do notice that the hummingbirds don't come over here but bunches of bees and butterflies wow a whole bunch of them they are loving this but I was mistaken. I thought this was lavender. This is not lavender. This is what I've learned to be Russian sage. And it voluntarily grows, as you can tell. And I'm not pulling it up. I'm not doing anything but letting it grow. But man, look at the bees. They are loving it. Y'all need bees? You want bees? Um, plant this. Russian sage. Wow. 
There's some big ones. I'm assuming those are big bumblebees. Wow. They are having the time of their life, that's for sure. So, that's my little garden at my little park host site. I wonder, I bought this to aloe vera at the plant sale and it wasn't doing very good but I think it's it's gonna come back probably need to cut that piece off but I may be able to salvage this so let's hope so it's looking a lot more healthy than it was so we'll see about that because I want to take that with me that would be good to have for any type of burns or anything. And I'd like to keep several pots of this growing and take it with me. But I guess I can remove this. I've also bought a little uh, pepper plant, but Bonnie Bunny got a hold of that. <laughs> so that didn't last long. But she didn't bother the tomatoes. She's been gone now probably for, I don't know, three or four weeks. No more bunnies. 